took a bit of a break for the last few months. Um, life stuff happened and I needed to take some quiet time. But I'm feeling good today. So today we are going to get ready to make some dinner. It's roughly nine o'clock. Uh, in the morning, so I'm going to do everything in the slow cooker today and put it on low and it'll be ready for dinner time. So let's get started. I already put the crock pot, hang on, let me turn this a little bit. There we go. So I already put the crock pot on low. I like to preheat my crock pot while I'm putting things in it because why not? It's not hurting anything and it gets everything started just a little bit sooner. So today we are doing pork chops. So these pork chops, we saved some money and uh, bought the cryovac uh, pork tenderloin when it was on sale for, I think it was $1.99 a pound uh, or $2.99 a pound, which is in camp Canadian dollars, which is like really, really inexpensive for what it normally is. And then we slice it into chops. So I'm gonna put those in my crock pot. They're a little less than an inch thick. And they're gonna go right in here. And we're gonna do, I found a Pinterest recipe, but all it did was give me an idea for what I wanted to do because I didn't like a lot of the stuff that was in the recipe. So we're gonna do these pork chops in here and I'm gonna just kind of wing it with a recipe of my own because I think my guys will really like some gravy. Let me wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've washed my hands and I've already pre-chopped some mushrooms that I had in the fridge that only have a few days left. So I'm gonna toss those in there with my pork chops. but I don't, my fresh onions have turned. I didn't get to them fast enough. It's been really, really hot, even though it's the beginning of September here in Airdrie, Alberta. Um, so I'm just gonna use some onion flakes in here. Uh, and I eyeball it. It's roughly, you know, about that much sprinkled all over. And I'm gonna add some minced garlic. I buy the larger jars of uh, Kirkland minced garlic at Costco and put it, we don't go through it fast enough. So I put it in a mason jar in the fridge and what's left, I freeze. And then when the mason jar is empty, I pull it out of the Kirkland a jar out of the freezer and fill up my mason jar and it lasts way, way longer and then I don't have any waste and it doesn't turn bad on me. So we're gonna do roughly a teaspoon of that in here. And now I'm gonna do a gravy. So, I don't really have gravy packets uh, with food allergies. There's a lot of stuff that I can't buy ready made, but I love making a crock pot gravy out of the Nor beef stock. Uh, and it's a powder and it just goes, I'm gonna put I think two cups will be fine today. So we're gonna need two cups of water. Two cups of water. We're gonna do, wipe these off. We're gonna do two spoons of the Nor beef stock, which actually pretty well empties my container. We're gonna mix that 
that up a little bit just to break it up because the water is cooler. Um, so it won't dissolve until the water is warm. And then to give it just a little extra zing, I put in a couple of dashes of Worcestershire. So it gives it almost, um, uh, what is that stuff called? I don't remember. It's, I don't remember what it's called, but it gives it a, just a, a little extra flavor. So I mix that in there. And then I'm gonna do flour. Normally I would do cornstarch, but because it's going in here and then it's probably going, there's gonna be leftovers in the fridge, uh, a cornstarch gravy tends to um, thicken up and gel just a little more than what my family likes once it's in the fridge. So if I do a flour, an all-purpose flour-based gravy, then um, it just firms up, but it doesn't like gelatinize. Uh, so they're more likely to eat it as a leftover later, so I don't have any food waste. So we're just gonna do start with a tablespoon and just see how it looks. You mix it up as best as you can. There's gonna be the odd lump here or there. You can use a whisk to get rid of some of the lumps too. But I actually find as it warms up and mixes that all of that goes away in the crock pot. Good. I can always thicken it up later if I wish. I'm just going to pour that right over top of my pork chops and put the lid on. And it's nine o'clock, so I'll probably put them on warm between three and five. They'll be ready. Um, so I just keep an eye on it and I'll set it down to warm for an hour or so if I need that extra time before it's time to serve them. But dinner will be around five o'clock. So it won't be that long that they'll be there. Um, and on low, they'll just go nice and slow. They'll be really, really tender and they'll be really delicious. So I'm gonna go and grab the other crock pot because I'm going to do baked potatoes in the crock pot as our side, um, and then we can have some salad or something. But then I don't have to worry about it at dinner time because tonight is gonna be a longer night. I have a hair in my eye. Oh. So I'm gonna go do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I gathered my smaller slow cooker, and I washed up my potatoes. And all I'm going to do is have the slow cooker set on low. It's not plugged in right now, but it will be later, so don't worry. Um, and I'm going to stab all my little potatoes just so they have the ability for things to escape. I found... Uh, a tip about it. So that's just what I did. And then we're gonna wrap each one in foil before we put them in the crock pot. So we're just doing this. I like whatever side is bulkier, that's the side I like to put down. Get all of these things in here. 
Sometimes you have to maneuver them a little bit, but that's okay. So the length of time this is taking me in this video, this is how long it takes for the entire meal to be prepped. Um, and then the slow cookers do all the work for you. So it's something you can even do all of this ahead the night before and just take it out of the fridge and plug it in the morning before you go to work or school. Um, I have a bit of a busier day today uh, and I can't, uh, I can't have dinner ready too late because uh, my teenager has commitments tonight with his cadets program and so I want to make sure everything is on time. So when I have a night where everything needs to be on time, I always do a slow cooker meal and I start it first thing in the morning and then it is just, it's like it's magic. It's ready for dinner time and I don't have to be running around and doing all of the dinner prep at the same time as trying to get ready for whatever event or activity is happening in the evening. So this is it. Everything is ready to go in here and that's cooking away. This is gonna get plugged in uh, just over there because that's where there's room and there's a plug and it'll be ready for dinner. So bon appetit. See you next time. Like and subscribe.